this thing on. We're, uh, we're gonna go with yes. In that case, hello, Arbitrary. This is the Arbitrary. And this is not your regularly scheduled host. You might be wondering why or how I'm broadcasting from here today. The answer is simple. I broke in. Why haven't the vigilantes come to stop me, you might ask? Again, the answer is simple. They did. Why don't we change things up a bit today and start with the weather? Today's forecast is crimson. Today's forecast is me. You can thank the Nebugasa for that. Or maybe it would be more accurate to say that you can thank yourselves. After all, your bodies were the beautiful instruments that allowed the Nebugasa to paint the streets. Me. Now I'm everywhere. The ground. Your homes. The sky. And there isn't a damn thing the sisters can do about it. And I couldn't be happier. So, let me thank you. Thank you. I know I speak for the sanitation committee as well when I show my gratitude. After all, they've got to eat too. Nevertheless, I can't help but shake the feeling that you're not all happy to see me. I thought I was one of Autumn's favorite colors, but even she cried those same pitch black tears. But I digress. I decided to speak to you all today because I wanted to clear up a misconception. One of the hosts said that the opening of your recently departed predictor's third eye was a failure. But as I hope you can all see, that isn't true. When the council pried open his third eye, what the predictor saw was the future. Because what the predictor saw was me. He saw red. No, no, that's not right. He saw crimson. And I'm going to be here for quite some time. No matter what your council tells you. Their unholiness protected them from the Nebugasa. I wasn't able to paint them with me. But they're on borrowed time. And before they know it, they're going to have to pay it back. And when death loans time, she charges interest. So in the interest of the arbitrary, I suggest you start finding a way to collect that time. 
After all, if you use all of it, you won't have anything left that you can use to pay off your debt. But me? Oh, I've got plenty of time. I have more time than I know what to do with. And even though time waits for no man, <laughs> well, time waits for me. Just like he waits for Turquoise and Cyan and the sisters and Goldenrod. Time is so patient with us. But we won't be patient with you. Consider the Nebugasa a warning. You cast aside your blessings to drive it away, and now you're all full of wretchedness. But that wretchedness is bound to attract something even worse. Shut up. I'm not finished. Didn't they teach you vigilantes how to die? Now, where were we? I'm getting sick of this. I thought I told you to shut the fuck up. <sighs> well, it looks like this is the end of our irregularly scheduled broadcast. Please have a crimson day. This has been yours truly. Signing off.